In this session, we are going to understand the simulation in capital budgeting. In capital budgeting, we basically try to find whether a project is viable project or not. And that decision is taken by looking into the NPV of the project. And NPV is calculated by factoring the present value of inflows and outflows. So the present value of inflows and outflows are considered and evaluated to decide whether a project is a viable project or not. And here the inflows are nothing but your cash inflows. And this is derived after considering the various items like your sales, your expenses. And here what we have to understand is the sales is something which can be influenced by your sales volume. It can be influenced by your selling price. Similarly, the expenses can be influenced by your variable cost and it can also be influenced by your fixed cost. So while estimating the cash flows, we can take or we should take all these factors into consideration. But uh, when it comes to fixed cost, we don't find any issue because it is going to be fixed in nature. But there are certain items like sales volume or selling price or the market demand or the variable cost. All this can vary according to or may vary on account of various reasons. So these items are basically uncertain in nature. Do so you expect things to be good when you estimate the cash flows for the project these items can be uncertain so these items which are uncertain while estimating the cash flows can be called as exogenous variables okay they can be called as exogenous variables but there are certain items which are going to be constant while estimating the project cash flows with which can be the fixed cost which you are estimating in the project items or your annual fixed cost or it can be the project cost itself right or it can be say the cost of capital or it can be the project life period right so while estimating the project cash flows we have to factor all these items but some items are going to be variable in nature and some items are going to be fixed in nature the items which are going to be fixed in nature are going to be called as parameters and the items which are going to change are going to be called as exogenous variables so in simulation what we'll do is we will do simulation run on these exogenous variables using probabilities and cumulative probabilities and then we develop what is known as a random class interval that is we we first identify what are the exogenous variables then we'll try to establish the probabilities for those exogenous variables by looking back into the past then we'll find out the cumulative probability then we'll generate random class interval then in that random class interval we'll fit into the random numbers and with which we'll try to find out what will be the average or the possible variables or what could be the possible value of these variables namely sales volume or selling price or which are things which are uncertain in nature like variable cost okay so that's how we will do simulation in capital budgeting and finally after doing all this run we'll get the average items and we can apply those average items for computing the cash flows so in the next session i'll give you a simple example to understand so you'll be able to appreciate the concept further this video hope you liked it if you wish to learn more on this topic do check our comprehensive online course i have given the link in the description below if you like this video lecture do not forget to click on that like share and subscribe button with bell icon